What's up everybody, welcome to Horror Reviews. I am about to watch the trailer for Long Legs, which came out yesterday. This is a new horror film coming up, directed by Oz Good Perkins, or Oz, Oz Perkins, which is Anthony Perkins' son, which I did not know uh, until this movie. Even though I know I've seen a film he's done before. Nicolas Cage is going to be in this, and uh, Maika Monroe, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing her name, but the girl from Watcher and uh, It Follows. Um, so I thought I saw the trailer for this in theaters already, but I guess I didn't because it just came out. Now, I know I saw the trailer for Cuckoo, but I saw the trailer for another horror film in theaters like a month ago. I thought it was Long Legs for some reason in my mind. So now I'm wondering what that movie was. But I'm excited for Long Legs. Uh, I'm excited to see what this looks like. This just the still image right now that's on screen looks like Barbarian, which of course is very exciting. Uh, I'm really interested that Nicolas Cage is in this. Nicolas Cage is in freaking everything these days. So let's get into the trailer. Okay. <laughs> how funny is it that they say cuckoo though? Like how funny is that? Cause I just said that I thought that I saw long legs, but I saw the trailer for cuckoo and then they opens with cuckoo. Does no one think that that's funny? Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Play. I love the way it's shot already. It looks really cool. Is it scary being a lady FBI agent? Yeah. <coughs> Take a nice long look. The letter was left with the bodies. Yo, the sound design. Sign of one word. Yo, that was creepy. Uh, you know, trailers aren't usually creepy. Maybe I'm just in like, in the, it's got like a vibe. This trailer has like a serious tone to it. I saw a beast rise up out of the sea with seven heads and ten horns. And on his horns, he wore ten crowns. And on each head was written a blasphemous name. What aren't you telling me? He'll kill and kill again. I know you're not afraid of a little bit of dark. Because you are the dark. <laughs> Do you still say your prayers? Number once? They scared me. Hello? You could have made nice with me. But you didn't. And like that is that. I just realized that that's probably Nicolas Cage's voice. I did not realize that. Is that his voice? I don't, I just like clicked in my head. I was like, whose voice is that? It's so good. And I'm like, holy crap, is that Nicolas Cage? Wow, yeah, if that is him. Dang. To all of this. I'll be yep. it, waiting. It is him. Yo, that looks good. I am glad I watched the trailer now. Um, that looks really good. I am very excited for that. The only hesitation that I have after watching the trailer is that it seems like it can, could be one of those films that just like gets really mind trippy and weird towards the end and this type of movie, because it's got like this mystery aspect that seems like going on, it's like the thriller aspect and these like really dark themes. 
I hate it when it kind of just like cop, it's almost like a cop out where everything just gets weird and trippy at the end of the last, like the movie. And so I'm hoping it's not that. I hope, I'm hoping it's not like just like stuff in her head, trippy things for like, just for the sake of that. But there's actually like something weird going on. It's a little more grounded and we get like a really like trippy grounded film. If that makes sense. If what I'm saying makes sense to you, that's my only really concern, but I mean, performances look amazing. It's shot super well. Sound design. Holy crap. The like tone of the film trailer. If the movie sucks, trailer is great. That is a solid trailer. Even if the movie sucks, that is a really well-made trailer. And sometimes that happens, but um, that was really cool. Nicholas Cage. I have a feeling this is going to be a great performance from him. Um, not sure exactly where he's going to show up or what his character's going to be. I think he was that old guy um, and the voiceover, but I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, I didn't really notice it was him or even think about it being him. So he's not credited in IMDb as a character that I see. So that's possibly on purpose, I would assume. Uh, but yeah, that looks really good. I love like the old school like, flashback, uh, like four by three, like, or, um, like Polaroid looking, like still frames and like the old flashback video and stuff. Really, really, really cool looking. Um, really, really nice like set design. Really, really like cool lighting. I love the warmth of it. Um, I'm loving like these new like warm tones in the films. I'm a big fan of that when it like leans that way. Um, they can use a lot of darkness and warm tones. So love the way it's shot. Dang, that's just dripping with style. That looks so good. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I just was like entranced, honestly. I feel like I was entranced by that trailer. That looks really good. I don't know what long legs means. Uh, dang, that looks dope. Fingers crossed, it's really good. Let me know what you guys think down below about the trailer, long legs. And then we got some anticipated horror films coming up. I mean, for real. I was worried about this year but there's a couple things uh so yeah thanks for watching buddy appreciate it i'm running scared on a big bad wolf oh i never see the silver line and only see the gold i don't speak in caps dog everything bold and i put that on myself because it's a life that i done chose i said come through you can see me on the west side now it's funny how they walking with each other